Hey guys, Zero here, and I'm just going to do something a little different today. I'm going to show you guys my LFO collection of memorabilia and whatever. It's nothing too crazy, not a ton of stuff, but I figured I want to connect more with the LFO fans that have been on the channel thus far, and just show you guys what I have, and if you guys watch this, you can let me know if there's anything different that you have, or any questions on everything that I have, so... As you can see in the backdrop, we have a poster there straight off the bat, and that is from a tour in 2009. I saw a reunion tour of theirs in Boston. It was actually signed by the guys. I bought it off their website at the time and got it shipped there, and it's hand-signed by the three of them. So that was really cool um, to see the three of them, you know, obviously before Richard passed away. That was actually my first time seeing them live, and it was really a memorable night for me and it was an unbelievable show as well so that was really cool so i have that poster um there's another poster behind it let me just switch hopefully you guys can see everything clear doesn't seem too bad um this one is from their most recent tour the rich and love tour 2017 i went to new york city and saw brad and Devin, and that's just the poster that was you know kind of promoting that show and then behind there we have a t-shirt that i also bought from that most recent tour um, let me move the camera a little bit so you can see there's Rich's shoes down there as part of it coming off the uh, new stylized LFO logo. Um, just remembering Rich there as well. They actually hung his shoes on the stage uh, during the show, so that was nice to see. Rich was definitely there in spirit. Um, so that was definitely something I'm always going to... I actually got the privilege, the honor of meeting Rich several times and being my idol. It was something something I'm always going to cherish. Um even long after he's been gone here so all right getting into something else here's a dvd <laughs> live from orlando this is just a dvd i actually actually used to have this on vhs but i upgraded to a dvd um it's, uh it's got seven songs from their first album basically it's from 2000 just a live show they did in orlando and it also has some really cool interviews with the guys especially ones with rich to get some of their thoughts on everything and songwriting and stuff like that and there's you know a few other goodies on there too music videos so you guys could probably find this on amazon still uh so that's that's pretty cool now obviously i have their their albums their first album and life is good as well which is my favorite album of all time now these are actually backup copies i have as you can see the first one hasn't been removed from the plastic i um Anytime I go out and I see used copies of either of their CDs, I buy them. And I like to have one as a backup for myself, just in case mine stop working. And um, I also give them out to people, you know, my friends or whoever, family that don't have them yet, just to kind of share their music with people. So, obviously I have their albums on hard copies. Now we get a single here, I Don't Want to Kiss You Goodnight single. Uh, it features two versions of the song including the one that was on the you know the uh, video where rich does some of the solo instead of just Devin, and then also features a really cool remix of girl on tv a uk remix which i actually really really like it's different it gives it a little bit of a fresh taste so there's that see the three of them on the front there i also have the west side story single which has two different versions of west side story um as well as a remix to Summer Girls, which is pretty interesting. And if there's any of these that you guys haven't heard, like these remixes or something, I'll be happy to put them on the channel. Um, I might do it anyways, so just let me know. Uh, this is an old one. This is If I Can't Have You single, uh, back before Devin was even in the group, before they even released their first album. Uh, obviously, this song did end up on their debut album, but you know, as you can see, Briz is in the group here. It's, it was Rich, Brad, and Briz, and Devin came a little bit later, and I don't know what happened to Briz, to be honest with you, but um, he was in this song, and they actually put it on the first album, so it was pretty cool, um, pretty much when they first got started there. Um, another single I have is the Life is Good single. Uh, I don't have the original case. Uh, I, don't, I think it got damaged or something. I do have all the artwork still, as you can see. Um, this has... Two different versions of Dandelion, including the one featuring M.O.P., which is the album version, and the one that doesn't have M.O.P. I have the original disc, as you can see, and they threw on Dandelion on the on the uh, track as well, so that's pretty cool. Alright guys, just a few more things here to show you. Um, whoop, my uh, camera just moved a little bit. Let me uh, just bring it back up there. There we go. 
right. Now I have this. I posted a song from this album recently on my channel. It's uh, actually Brad's solo album. Back when he... This is in like 2003 or something. This is very rare. This is probably the rarest thing that I have of theirs. You guys won't be able to buy this or even an MP3 of this album anywhere right now. I was lucky enough to grab a hard copy of the album back when Brad first released it and it was off his 111 Records website. I had to get a money order from a food store just to uh, just to get this thing because the only way I could get it but I was determined to get it and I got it and as you can see it's got the tracks and he was under the name Sade or S-A-R-I I think it's pronounced Sade and uh, the name of the album is Amberland, and I did post one song from this album recently, so just check on the LFO playlist and you can see it. It's called uh, April Showers, which is a really, really good song. This is very different from LFO, this Brad album, so I actually have it signed by Brad right there um, from their most recent show. I brought it and got it signed by Brad, and he was even a little shocked to see it. I think he forgot about the album himself. He was like, wow. Um, Okay, so there's Brad's solo album. I also have Devin's solo album. Hard copy of that, back when he was doing this thing with the Cadbury Diesel. This is a really cool, really fun album. It's very upbeat, very, you know, it's kind of rock and rollish, popish. Um, it's definitely a little bit different from LFO as well, which is why I like LFO. They mix a lot of different sounds, and the guys have a lot of different musical backgrounds. So this was actually off of Brad's record label as well. He had signed Devin and the band to you know a contract, and they made a music video, and I think they played some shows. Actually, when I saw the band, when I saw Alpha in 2009, they actually played a song off this album, which was really cool to see that they let Devin, and I think a couple of the guys from the Cadbury Diesel were actually playing uh, live instruments there too with the with the group. So that was cool. So this is a good album. You still might be able to get this on Amazon. I'm not sure if there's an MP3 anywhere of it or not, but. Um, this would probably be the easiest of the three solo albums to get right now. And then, of course, we have Rich Cronin's Billion Dollar Sound as well. I have a hard copy of this. I don't even remember how I got it. I must have ordered it off of the Orange Freeze Records website before it, you know, stopped existing. Um, and this is very special to me, obviously, having Rich's solo album. This is something that you can't get. I mean, I think you can get the MP3, actually, of this. Or at least of some of the songs I thought you could, but apparently some of these songs have been lost and people can't get them. But I have them all here. I've posted some of them on my uh, on my channel as well for you guys, so you guys can hear them. I know some of you already heard them and are enjoying them, including the song "The Kill," which is my favorite off the album. Um, this is a great album. It's got a lot of different sounds to it. There's 18 tracks on this thing, guys. Um, very rare. I don't think you guys can get this now. Like I said, uh, maybe not even the MP3, but um, I have posted some of the songs on there. Uh, it's an excellent album. Uh, Rich wrote all these songs. And like I said, there's a lot of different sounds. There's pop, there's some more, you know, more ballady stuff. There's some hip hop on there. Some, you know, like punk, pop, rockish kind of stuff that you would have heard off like the second LFO album. So, uh, very, very good. Definitely worth a listen or a thousand. So we have, that's all the stuff I have, guys. Um, now, if you guys have anything different or, you know, some stuff that you recommend that I, I could get that are still available, please let me know. I'll be happy to go see how I can get that stuff. Um, I'm sure there's more stuff out there I can get, but since they haven't existed too much over the past 10 years or so, a lot of the old stuff's going to be hard to get. I just have... This is what I've been able to get so far. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, if you want to see more stuff like this, more collectible stuff that I have of different things, you know, not, not non-LFO obviously, then I'll be happy to share that with you. So guys, till next time, please go listen to LFO and zero is the number.